Welcome back friends. In this part, we will create the product controller and move the route logic uh, into that controller file. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click the controllers folder, go to new and create a JavaScript file. I will name it product controller. Okay, so the very first thing that I will need here is my uh, product mod model and I can simply go ahead and copy it from there okay next I'll define the first route that's the uh, route to get all products okay so the way we do that is using the exports uh, object it's, it's a built-in object in node or yeah node so you can attach any method name or variable to it so i'll use get products okay assign it to a function an arrow function here so this arrow function will take a request a response okay so now we will go back to the routes file I will simply cut the logic from here and put it here again it's uh, we are using a weight here so we need to make it async and the 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 drawback is that whenever you're using async await you need to wrap it in a try catch block so that in case if any error occurs that will be handled properly otherwise with promises you have the then block and the catch block okay so uh, I'm gonna send this as well uh, error something went wrong so because if you don't don't handle the error your server will crash all right let's see <clears throat> so we have moved the logic here and now instead of router dot get what we will do we will uh, use router dot route the route will be my default route here okay and for that i'm going to use the get uh, function this is for the get requests okay just a sec So for, for uh, in order to get the products from this controller, first of all we need to import the controller here. Const prod controller and I I'll import it require from controllers slash product controller. Now I'll simply refer to the prod count variable and use the get products as a reference make sure you do not put parenthesis like this never never do that okay just put a reference to the product function now if you save the changes and have all the logic here we go back to postman and hit send i should get the same response back okay but in case if there is a mistake right so i save it and send I get this error so my error has been handled successfully and my server is still running but if you don't do this then your server will crash so in future we will see how we can remove the try catch uh, block and create our own uh, error handler okay that will be that, that we can use as a middleware and it will help us uh, remove these repetitive try catch statements All right so next uh, let's create another another route here another method here suppose not get single product okay so as the name suggests we give you one particular product so request response and the route for this particular uh, single product will be 
router dot route so default an id so i need to pass in the id as my query parameter here so this is this is known as query parameter okay so i can simply use get and product controller use single product that's it okay the logic is not yet defined but we will do that right now so first of all i need to fetch the product id from my query parameters okay so it will be something like this so products slash the id let's say this one okay so if you hit send now it won't do anything because it has no no response okay we have not defined the logic here let's do that so the way you do that in in express is using the request object so you type request dot query dot id so this id is the name that you have given here in your route okay make sure this one this name and this attribute matches so now once you do that you can uh, console log the product id okay and save the changes so my server restarted successfully and if i hit send uh, if i respond i get this as undefined so why is it so let's let's check our app here so we are using app dot use dot express dot json what i missed here is express dot uh you are encoded extended i guess extended true something like that so let's see if this works it's send no nope. still doesn't work so let's check the documentation for express go to browser express url encoded so you go here encoded So let's set to false and go back here. Hit the request still undefined. Okay. The problem here is that instead of query, because it is not a query query parameter. This is so query, para query parameter looks like this uh, question mark id equals to this so if i cancel this and hit send again so now uh, query dot uh, i so request query let's see what we get here hit send So basically, we need params dot id. So it's, it's the params object here. So this is something known as query uh, query parameters. When you put a question mark and then you give it a name equals to some value. So these are the, your query parameters. But if you put like this, this is your par normal params. Okay. So now you see, I'm getting the id. So you need to use the params object here. Okay. So once we have that here, so we'll search for a product using the product model and go to find by ID and we'll pass in the product ID. So again, we know this returns a promise. So we'll make this await and this function as async. 
so if product so if the product is available we'll send the product back to the requester else we'll send a response that says message product not found save go back here and hit send it says product not found okay because we don't have any products in our products array cool so this is again get single product from the database so I can create one more uh, function here to create products create product be again async then request comma response and here I will get the uh, body okay I'll get the data from the body so this is this will be a post request okay and if we check our product model we want all these uh, parameters All right, so go here. So I'll simply destructure everything from my request uh, body and description. I have price, I have sale price. I have main image so but in case if these are not sent then you will get an error so let me sh just show you and i'll use request.body okay so let's see what happens if i go here make it a post request and first of all i need to create a route so it will be on the default default route here i'll create a post uh method and use the product controller and go to the create product uh, function so now if you go here and in the body don't send anything hit send Give an error. Let's see uh, if I go here, add title test. Okay, test. Let's go back here and go to console log title. Let's see if we, if we are even receiving this or not. Send. We're getting that from the request.body. This means that this middleware is functioning properly. Earlier, you used to have uh, use body parser for this, but now Exp uh, Express has that functionality inbuilt. So similarly, but let's say I only have the title, and there are a few other attributes which have been marked as required like your price okay but i am not sending any price here and if i try to go ahead and create a product uh, without the the mandatory attributes let's see what happens so let's see cons product goes to await product dot create and let's say request our body okay so well, this will have everything in it so i just showed you here how you can destructure but ideally you can simply do this okay and this will work the same way so let's see what happens go to your postman hit send so you see we are getting an error it says 
uh, validation error, product validation fail, description, please enter description, price, enter price. So these are the two uh, attributes that are mandatory. So one is title that we are already sending, price and description, the rest everything is uh, set to false, the required is set to false. But now, if I go here and send price to $25.99 and description, this is a test product, okay, product, cancel, and before I do that, let's quickly send something. So once the product is done, if we get a product, then we want to send dot, uh, rest dot, status 201 i'm sorry 200 not 201 and we will send the uh, product we'll send a flag of success as true and the product as product okay save the changes it should be running and right now you see my let me just go to here, go here I don't have any node API database because there is no data so if I go here to my postman and hit the send button okay so I get a success true and these are my product details okay this is the ID so if I go back to uh, my MongoDB compass and hit the refresh key so I'll get a node API database created inside that I have a products collection and which has only one document this one the, the, the test product okay so this is how you can create products with uh, the mandatory attributes and basically we don't need this okay we will do some checking later on but right now we don't uh, want to do any checks okay we are simply passing the request here so again it should be uh, wrapped in a try catch statement but uh, we will see that see in a more uh, in, in the next lectures that how we can avoid using try catch multiple times and create our own middleware that will handle all these async uh, requests okay so i hope you have liked this video and till now you have understood what we are doing if you have any comments or queries please feel free to put those in the chat box or not in the chat box rather in the comment section below and uh, in the next uh, video we will continue adding uh, more functions more routes to the product uh, uh, product route and next we will work on the other routes like categories orders and we will also see how we can seed this uh, dummy data to our database so that we can work with these functions and get some output in our postman okay so till then enjoy this series and please don't forget to subscribe like and share this channel with your friends i'll see you in the next video bye bye and have a wonderful day